We now go to the ranking member, Mr. Cummings. Mr. Hicks, I was just uh, listening to your testimony, and I, it's, um, during your interview with the committee, you were asked point blank, and that certainly that was closer to the time that this happened, whether anyone at the Department instructed you to withhold information from Representative Chavis. At any time during that trip, you were asked, and I quote, did you receive any direction about information that Congressman Chaffetz shouldn't be given from Washington? And you replied, uh, no, I did not. Um, is, that, is that still your testimony? I'm not just saying, this is just one testimony. I'm just looking at the testimony. You don't remember that? I recall saying that I was instructed not to allow personal interviews with the the, uh, I'm not trying to twist you up. I'm just going I, on, on what you. I, I understand, I, but I recall also stating that I was not to allow personal interviews between Congressman Chaffetz, the RSO, the acting DCM, and, or me. Okay, so 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 in other words, you did say that you were told to make sure that other State Department officials were present. Is that right? Is that what? Right? That's correct. Present for that, meetings with Rep Representative Chaffetz and that's correct. As you stated, and they told me not to be isolated with Congressman Chaffetz. Is that correct? correct? They didn't tell you not to say say anything, but they said not don't be isolated. I guess they, they said not to not to have a personal interview with him. Yeah, yeah by yourself. I'm just trying to make. I'm just. Trying, I'm not trying to. I, I understand. I'm just trying to be clear. That's all. I, I understand. I understand okay. what you're. Okay. Now, um, Mr. Hicks, you said that. Uh, four military personnel were told not to board that plane and that this call, you don't know where it came from. That's what you said a few minutes ago. Um, and so, so you did not know that it came from Special Operations Command Africa? I, I knew it came from Special Operations Command Africa. I do not you didn't know, know the individual. Who. I did not know who. I got you. Because I just wanted to clear that up because it wasn't clear. That, that's okay. Thank you. On October 1st, 2012, the Secretary of State convened an accountability review board led by uh, Thomas Pickering, Ambassador uh, Admiral M Michael Mullen, to investigate the attacks in Benghazi. Uh, after interviewing more than 100 uh, people, viewing hours of videotape, and reviewing thousands of pages of documents, the ARB issued a very thorough report in December uh, 2012 setting for the fourth results of its review. Uh, Mr. Hicks, did you meet with the ARB as part of that investigation? I had an interview with them for about two hours. Okay. And Mr. Nordstrom, did you meet with the ARB as a part of the investigation? Yes, on multiple occasions. Um, it is my understanding that a cable went out to every employee at the State Department informing them of how to contact the ARB if they wanted to bring information forward. Uh, Mr. Thompson, did you receive that notice? I did. All right. And did you contact the ARB and request to meet with them? I did. And so did you end up meeting with the ARB as part of their review? I did not. Did, you, did anyone try to stop you from meeting with the ARB? No. Earlier this week, Congressman Chavis claimed that the ARB report was incomplete because they never even interviewed Secretary Clinton. According to Ambassador Pickering, the ARB met with uh, Secretary Clinton near the end of their investigation, and during that time uh, they had the opportunity to discuss the report with her and could have asked her any questions uh, they wanted. Master Pickering and Admiral Mullen have put out a, a joint statement. I was just saying, I think that very clearly says they didn't interview her, they just talked about the report and could have but didn't ask her, is that right? They, I think it makes his they, case. Well, well, that's why we, we need to have, no, I'm not trying to make any case. I'm just trying to get out of the facts. But I do, that's even more reason why we need to have Pickering in here, and I'm glad you've agreed to do that. And I just want to finish this question because I want to stay within the time limits. Uh, Ambassador Pickering and Admiral Mullen have put out a joint statement that based on their thorough independent investigation, they assigned responsibility based on where they thought the responsibility lay. And that was not on Secretary Clinton. And, and, and this is what they said. And I quote, from the beginning of the ARB process, we had unfettered access to everyone and everything, including all the documentation we needed. Our marching orders were to get 
to the bottom of what happened, and that's what we did, end of quote. I uh, just wanted to, and again, we will, as you said, Mr. Nordstrom, we want to get a complete picture, and we'll hopefully be getting that complete picture very soon so that we can get to the point that we want to, and that is the reform so that this, these kinds of things uh, are prevented from happening again. Thank you. I thank the gentleman.